Hi, this movie just uh, gives an overview of inputting um, using the building related or the new modules. Um, you see them over here, um, starting at uh, with the services. Right now, I'll just click on the building tools. Um, critical with these modules is your uh, orientation and um, zone, but also the uh, occupancy. Right, so if I select uh, off this list the occupancy um, and then obviously the uh, area um, based on the floor area including the vertical elements. Right, um, that being selected I can go to the um, uh, building related items. Note that obviously if I s select the story I've got the fenestration which is uh, story related. Right, so I click on the building. Under services are um, lighting and power and also hot water um, is available. So I add um, uh, an element and this might be uh, down lighters, uh, giving the, the rating of the down lighter uh, in what and how many uh, lights there are in uh, this building. That uh, gets calculated, the total gets calculated and also the, the, the usage now, that being a, a certain um, occupancy, it's got certain values. You can, however, adjust this uh, to be um, relevant uh, in, in this regard. So, so you can add uh, additional elements um, like that. And uh, just to also show you a heads up, if I enable this heads up, it's just an on-off switch. It uh, tallies up uh, what you have here at the top. Um, and um, gives you the allowables and matches that what you've tallied up at the top here, the 240, and uh, the allowable is basically um, based on your floor area. And uh, so if you do change the floor area to 200, press enter, you'll notice here at the bottom it was 1,200 and it's now just 1,000. Right, so it's got certain calculations that uh, gives you the allowable and um, what you have um, then complies or not. Right, so it's just a heads up um, information and then same with the um, hot water I can add uh, an element over here. Um, this hot water is uh, basically the requirement um, of sands that you need to uh, supply 50% of the hot water um, with green um, or, or renewable uh, resources, right, like wind or um, um, sunlight. Right, so basically on that uh, occupancy I can add uh, there's five rooms and that will translate b b uh, based on a certain table in the SANS documents to the number of people um, and then uh, that's the number of days in use and then um, I'll go and say right this is a medium rental information just click elsewhere and then it gives me the the hot water requirement uh, per day and then also the hot water requirement um, uh, minimum maximum in this case and then also the annual one right and that then uh, the, the rest of the values is similar just basically um, minimum maximum and 50 percent per annum right um, if obviously this changes to uh, something else um, maybe an hotel um, at this stage I also have number of rooms but the um, the building class have now changed to um, uh, filter by hotel and uh, that will then just translate if however you want to uh, vary from this you can click on show all and then uh, you've got every everything in this list which you can then select um, if uh, if required right um, however also if I do change this to say something uh, different like a shop um, it's now based on uh, the surface area, so the shop is 200 square meters, so that's why we've got two, uh, 20 over here, and then obviously also just um, the uh, class and uh, so on. Right, so basically um, based on the occupancy, um, this gets uh, completed. Right, I'm going to return back to my uh, dwelling, and I'm going to say five rooms and select the building class. All right, um, once that's done, I can go and save this. Um, a good idea to always save as you complete a module. And then uh, go back to floors. Here is the total floor area for the ground story. Um, and in this case, um, I've got two stories and 200 squares. So I'm going to make that, say, 
um, 110 um, uh, floor area. Now the floor area here, there's a, um, there's a 500 square meter division, so if you've got above 500 squares, um, it impacts uh, differently uh, in, the, in the bottom here. So I press enter and I can say, right, I've got a um, ground slab and it's not uh, under floor heating, I don't have a suspended floor, and I click save, and it gives me certain requirements. Right, then uh, the external wall construction, I can select, um, I've got uh, maybe masonry, brick, and uh, um, what is the um, the R value, if I've got cavity or no cavities, maybe I'll have some insulation within my cavities with the R value of 1. Right, it gives you some notes over here as well as um, it will re relay these results again in my report. If I go to the roof light, um, I can add an element over here and I can have more than one uh, roof light. Right, this is the external length and you'll notice tool tips appear as you go along. Um, this is the external length of the item and the external width of the item. You could also add the diameter and that will give you the, the area. Right, um, within the room, this relates to uh, the fenestration rooms that I previously added, but I could also add a um, custom room that um, this roof light serves. Right, so this is the area that this roof light serves, so I'm going to just give a smallish uh, area so that I have uh, a room area percentage that's quite uh, large, that just takes the, the roof lights area and the room it serves. Right, then the shaft length, I'm going to say one meter, this is the internal values of the, um, or size of the item, and uh, that then translates into an uh, internal uh, diameter, or internal um, uh, uh, length, yes, uh, that's the diameter, and then the shaft index uh, gets uh, done, and that translates into the uh, solar heat gain and U value required to do this, um, create this roof light with. Right, so now you can add additional uh, elements if you require. Right, this can also be exported into a uh, Excel or PDF for supporting uh, documentation. Right, um, then the roof assemblies, if I look at the uh, the SANS uh, 10400 uh, R value requirements, and if I say, right, uh, clay roof, clay tile, it gives me the certain um, minimum required and it's separated into three parts I save that and then um, I'll just give me give uh, a specific uh, roof construction again here um, and then um, just select the right one and um, that obviously also has the same uh, requirement um, just uh, subdivided uh, as well but then um, taking uh, that total value subtracting the uh, requirements uh, I'm left with a certain um, uh, insulation requirement, which I then select the appropriate insulation that I'm using, and that will give me the thickness that is required in my uh, roof. Right, then um, going to the uh, air infiltration, I go and select uh, if I have a, a certain element or none if I don't. Right, so if I, as I go through, I can just select them um, and uh, I can say none. And, uh, and so on. Right, click save at the bottom and that just uh, creates the, um, the input. Right, once that's done I can save the, the building again uh, via those tools. I could also say save as which creates a, a duplication right um, for um, uh, backup purposes. Right, however if I just click on a report it automatically saves in the background and I can go and um, select my building um, all the information is completed in here, and I can specifically go to the uh, modules and just have a look at uh, what's uh, input there. And uh, also, I can go and say, right, let's export this um, to a, a PDF, a Excel, uh, or a Word document. All right, um, so that concludes our um, the, the movie on the modules that's um, added to uh, SansCalc version 2.